many medicines being advertised on TV. And don't they sound good until they get to the side effects? <laughs> and they say them so quickly in such an even tone, I'm not even sure what I heard. You'll have your hair forever. May cause your ass to bleed in public. I had, I had a blood test recently. It turns out I have high cholesterol. Luckily, it's balanced out by low self-esteem. <laughs> so I've been taking low stima. <laughs> and I also have too much vitamin D. I'm, all, I'm taking hydema. <laughs> but if you take hydema with low stima, it may cause your ass to bleed in public. And my favorite new advertisement for a drug on TV is that one for the antidepressant that causes you to commit suicide. Have you seen that one? I think this drug might have left the laboratory a little bit too early. And Ambi in that sleeping pill, studies have shown people have walked in their sleep, talked in their sleep, cooked in their sleep, and cleaned in their sleep. I am gonna take that sleeping pill. I need to get more done. <laughs> So many drug ads, I'm beginning to think there are things wrong with me that I've been previously unaware of. I saw an ad for female Viagra. I didn't know there was anything on me that should be standing up. <laughs> and I don't want to see any more ads for Cialis till they explain why couples must use separate bathtubs. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you? Once they drag the tubs up to the top of the mountain, aren't they too tired to have sex? <laughs> and sex after 60 can be quite challenging. Between my bad back and his bad knees, it hurts and feels good at the same time. <laughs> That's not to say we're not highly experimental, because we are. This year, yes. This year, we're going to attempt to achieve simultaneous colonoscopies. <laughs> And last week, we did have a surprise sexual encounter. It was so exciting, it was at 2 a.m. when we bumped into each other on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> but things change. The meaning of words change. Getting lucky changes. In your 20s, getting lucky, meeting someone you're attracted to. In your 40s, getting lucky, finding a parking space. <laughs> In your 60s, getting lucky, threading a needle. <laughs> Good in bed, the meaning of that changes too. You know what, my husband is fantastic in bed. He stays very, very still and he doesn't snore. 